Hey, hello my dear friends, how are you doing? Today we're going to make a brief review of must. Must and have to, or don't have to, and doesn't have to. Okay, these are um, model verbs and auxiliary verbs that help you when you need to specify if you are going through an obligation, a prohibition, a need, or when you don't have a need of anything. So let's begin with must. Must is to express obligation. Like in the example, you must pay your rent. If you don't pay your rent, bye-bye. So you must pay your rent. That is your obligation. You must study. You must eat if you want to live, right? Mustn't is basically a prohibition, okay? For example, you mustn't smoke at a gas station. Can you imagine in a gas station and you're... Oh my God, you mustn't smoke at a gas station. Good. And what about have to? Have to is when you have a need, but it is not an obligation. For example, I have to study, but I will go to the party. All right? I have to study, but I will go to the party. I have a need, but it's not an obligation. I can decide not to do that. All right? And don't have to or doesn't have to is when you have no need. It's okay. Mom doesn't have to cook. And I forgot to write, doesn't have to cook because I brought pizza, okay? Mom doesn't have to cook, okay? It means that she doesn't have that need, but she can make a decision of making some dinner or pizza or whatever. Good. So remember, obligation, prohibition, need or no need. And of course, you have the structures over here. Subject plus master message, the verb in simple form, and the complement. Or subject plus have or has, to the verb in simple form, and a complement. And if you want to make negatives and have to, subject, don't have to, doesn't have to, plus a verb, and a complement. So remember, you must share this video with your friends. Ah, no, I'm just kidding. Have a good day, and don't forget to subscribe. Bye bye.